Hey, what is up everyone? The Great Dansby here, and today I want to talk about what makes a first-person shooter awesome. What do you look in for a first-person shooter? I mean, I'm using some Modern Warfare 2 gameplay today because honestly, when this game first launched, it was probably the most fun I ever had playing on a Call of Duty game. When this game was out for the first few months, you know, November um, and uh, December and probably a little bit of January, this game was the fucking shit. It was the most fun I ever had on an FPS game before the community kind of uh, figured out how to exploit it due to thanks to some, you know, YouTubers. I'm not going to name names over here. But, yeah. So, this game, honestly, to me, was was the best one when it came out. The um, All the guns were, uh, honestly, like I, don't, I would like to say overpowered, but not really overpowered because all the guns were usable, so in, in that sense, there's, there was really no OP guns in this game, uh, a lot of them were easy to use, I, I totally agree with that, but on the same token, you could, there was variety in it, because all the guns were easy to use, except for like the F2000, wasn't really that easy to use, and the, and the vector was kind of pointless, because it had such, such low damage, so outside of hardcore modes, it really wasn't that good of a weapon, I know LP likes to use them all the time, but it really wasn't that good, um, let's see, what else, um, I mean, the shotgun secondary is a little bit bullshit in this game, but just I just want you to think about it, like what makes an FPS game good to you. I mean, to me, the things that make FPS games good to me are, are number one, fast place. Modern Warfare 2, is it fast placed? Hell fucking yeah. Is there bullshit in it? Absolutely there is. But when the game first came out, the, the way they intended the game to be played, I, I honestly think this is the best first person shooter ever made. But there, but I have to, you know, take away from that is that there was so much crap in this game when it comes to the noob tubes, the danger clothes, the one man army. There's a lot of bro commando. Oh my god. There was a lot of broken shit in this game. And I, they never fixed it. I mean, I know they could have fixed it. It wouldn't have been like a hot fix like they can do in the games now. It wouldn't have been as quick. But all this stuff, they could have fixed. The tr truth of the matter is, they didn't care enough to fix it. Um, whoever was left of the company. Didn't think it was that big of an issue to go fix the game. Oh, this is really uh, sweet over here. I, I pretty much start clearing out this bunker. There's one guy sitting in the corner staring at the floor that actually winds up killing me, but whatever. So uh, I digress a little bit. So what are you looking for a first-person shooter? So fast pace, that's one thing. Two, gun balance. This game had the gun balance. Like I said, pretty much with the exception of a few weapons, all the guns in this game were very usable, and you could have fun with them and do well with them all the time. Um, I'm using the Famas here. The extended mag is one of my favorite setups in the game. If you're gonna troll me for it, go fuck yourself. You're probably the same people that uh, that will click on Sandy Ravage's videos when he uses the Famas and be like, "Oh my God, he's such a beast!" But if I used it, I'm, I'm a scrub, right? Okay, whatever. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, what else do you look for? I, I look for a skill gap. Modern Warfare 2. Didn't really have the biggest skill gap out of all the Call of Duty games because they had guns like the Famas, the ACR, M16, uh, UMP. You know, there was a lot of guns in there that were easy to use, so the skill gap wasn't quite there. Um, it's probably why Black Ops is my favorite out of, out of the whole series. Black Ops has a really big skill gap. Um, the bad players just absolutely pound. I mean, good players absolutely pound on bad players like 9 out of 10 times. This is actually the host right here who I just killed. He, he winds up, I think, tubing me. Very, very soon. Oh, no, maybe he isn't to me. That was early. That happened already. What the hell am I saying? But I actually get the, the host to back out really soon. You guys will see that. Um, he didn't like that uh, the Angel of Death was in up up, up in the air. But let's see. What, what else makes a first-person shooter good? Uh, obviously, hit detection and things like that make it good. But fast-paced and, and, the, and the skill gap are, are the big things for me. I mean, I know that if I'm a good player and you actually do put me in a lobby with bad players... There shouldn't be shit in the game that's built in to make them do better. I'm sorry, that, that's not how it works. I mean, that's kind of like why I like Gears of War. Because Gears of War has a monstrous skill gap. A good player is going to destroy you every time. I mean, I'm not very good at, at, um, at Gears of War. I think I have like a 1.5 KD in Gears of War, and I fucking try, man. I try my ass off to do well, and 1.5 one, and one and KD is all I could uh, imagine that game. And, and when I go up against kids that have like 3 KDs, guess what? They, they push my shit, and that's how it should be. And there was the host migration. That's how it should be. That's how they should make first-person shooters. And then, you know, from all these things I'm saying, people will be like, oh, well, why don't you go play Battlefield? The problem with, like, Battlefield has great gun balance, and they patch gun ba and they cut patch guns all the time to make them more balanced if they're not so balanced. And I love that about, uh, I think it's DICE. Yeah, DICE. That, that's great. But you know what? When it comes down to it, Battlefield is just way too slow-paced for me. It's not the type of shooter I like to play. I like the more arcade style. I like Call of Duty. You know, it's it's more of a tactical shooter battlefield, tactical, campy, whatever the hell you want to call. That's how it is. I'm not shitting on the game. It's just it's just not for me. And I'm gonna call my tactical nuke here. So what what do you look for in a first person shooter game? I mean, all the things that I just mentioned, I feel are, are very important for in first person shooters, and or, or just shooters in general, not even first person shooters. 
So let me know what you guys think in, in the comment section, because I'm curious to what, like, your favorite first-person shooter games and why. Because if people just say Modern Warfare 2 because they had the most fun, oh yes, I understand, I had a lot of fun in this game when it first came out too. But when you when you play it now, you have to find a magic lobby like this one, where I think I got one noob tube death, and I thought it was going to be a good game the second this game started, because there were no tubes flying all over the place. I was like, let's see if we could get a big game here. Wasn't looking for the nuke, but we were able to drop it, it was good. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of this commentary, what you guys think of FPS games. Leave a comment and some likes, and I will catch you guys soon. Take care.